Okay. I think we're alive. We appear to be live. Hi. So, uh, you may have noticed that this room is different. That is because I am now in a different room. The uh, room is, in fact, what is known as the studio, which in this case means a place where we make stuff as opposed to where I just do videos. It's complicated, but we will make stuff. Currently, it's a room full of plastic bins full of craft supplies and my desk and um, some other stuff. But I had to rearrange everything, including mounting this microphone on its boom stand on a table. And I'm just this far away from being really worried that this thing is going to hurl itself off of its perch any minute now. Like right now, it's like slowly collapsing into me here. Welcome to live web pod, webcasting, podcasting, whatever you want to call it. Welcome to live broadcasting at its finest. So you've made it. You're here. I'm really happy. Hey, Tina. Um, so let's see. There's a few things uh, just to kind of get it going properly. Um, there's still a lot of technical crap that I got to deal with. And um, so it's all very much still very base level. But I do still have the uh, stuff here. And... Um, this actually came in early, didn't it? Yes. We'll change that back. There, we'll take that out. When I do the song, I'll put the text back up over here. And then that'll happen in a moment. Yeah, it's Earn While You Learn here at the Drew Dork Show. Um, I want to introduce you to this instrument right here. This is Purdy. Purdy is an eight-string acoustic electric ukulele. It has a built-in tuner, which is good, because these things can take forever to frickin' tune. They say that if a person plays a string instrument, they spend half their time tuning, and half their time playing an instrument which is horrifically out of tune. And they're about right. There we go. Eight strings. And I've changed things up a little bit. I think I changed the uh, microphone dynamic so that it's... I'm not sure if we're still doing stereo or not. I could feel around, turn it around and, and look. And I will because I can. The sound of fumbling, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, we are still, in fact, doing stereophonic. So my turning the microphone around just caused something very entertaining to happen to your speakers. So let's see if we can uh, do, this is almost an entirely a Tin Pan Alley and Blues set. And uh, let's see what happens. Why not? Let me go quick to wham. That still looks amazing, doesn't it? I still want to point in the wrong direction because what I'm seeing on the screen here is actually a mirror reflection and not a direct, it's complicated. You never try to keep the wild ones home. But, mister, don't just sit there and wait. Go out on the town, making all the rounds. It won't matter if you're your own date. got fried dreaming of your pretty eyes up in South Carolina I can't pronounce my R's and G's when I'm speaking Southernese honey do honey come and do me again I seen your fat cat style pounds, a jive ass smile, young girls giggling all the while, that's not my cup of chowder, I go for candlelight, cold 
champagne nearly every night. Honey, do a little toast for me and you. Couldn't you have taken that non-stop train? I'm hungry And I really want to see you again I know it's getting late Waiter keeps staring at your empty plate Mater D keeps telling me Uh, sir, she's just not coming Well, what the hell does Garcon know? been through all this before. Honey, do, honey, come and do me again. Honey, why couldn't you have taken that non-stop train? I'm hungry, and I really want to see you again. Vacantly occupied sat on the beach until my body got fried dreaming of your pretty eyes up in South Carolina I can't pronounce my R's and G's when I'm speaking Southernese honey do honey come and do me again one more time well now honey do honey come and do me again Whoa. Honey, do. As I said before, I can't sing like Leon Redbone, but I can sing like Jimmy Buffett trying to sing like Leon Redbone. Um. And um, that's another leading me to another thing, which is, in fact, the fact that I have, oh, I said set list. See, look at that set list. I'm a professional or something like that. Uh, this next song is credited to Bessie Smith. It is a song, however, that's been performed by billions of peoples. Billions of peoples. Billions. I'll move over a little bit. There. Hey. Once I lived... Here we go. Once I lived a life of millionaire. Spent all my money. Didn't have any cares. I took my friends out for mighty good time. Drank food like liquor, champagne and wine. Then I began to fall so low. Didn't have no friends, had nowhere to go. If I get my hands on a dollar again, I'm gonna squeeze her till that old eagle grins. Cause nobody knows you. for friends you don't have any now now when you get back on your feet again everybody wants to be a long lost friend i know it's strange without any doubt nobody knows you when you're down and out
I think we've just had our official uh, minor kayaking incident as uh, as part of our show. I think it's traditional now. It's like the intentional flaw left in the Tibetan sand painting, um, thus a reflection upon the impermanence and uh, imperfection of the world. That or I just need to rehearse more. We might be there. I don't know. One day I'm going to walk up to uh, Zildjian, I'm going to play Yeah, it's a bit. And we're going to launch into uh, Dueling Banjos. This is something that not everybody knows, but if you happen to be within range of Zildjian's Tori Stellar, and he has his mandolin with him, if you start to play Dueling Banjos, it's very likely he will play back. And uh, I just haven't been confident enough in my own abilities to ambush him in this manner. Also, the fact that he might just beat me to death with his musical instrument. So, you know, there's that. Let me see. I'm going to try. Emphasis on try. To do the song that I did, sort of, and I'm going to do it better. I hope. <sighs> the biggest challenge here is that a lot of times I have to go, I have to resort to cheat sheet, but it's an electronic cheat sheet. And the electronic cheat sheet shows me almost but not all of the lyrics and chords because it's in landscape mode. It's like this. It's not in portrait mode. If I turn this monitor to go in portrait mode, I could probably get it to show it in portrait mode as well, but then I have to turn it back. And um, I'm not quite prepared to go to that amount of trouble yet. So, let's see. Song three. One. Yes. When I first saw the the chart on this one, I was learning. I was playing guitar, or relearning how to play guitar, and there's some really obnoxious chords on this. And for if you were a guitar player, I mean, there's some just like the kind of chords that jazz guitarists love, and everyone else resents. But when I learned how to play this on the ukulele. Suddenly these chords got a lot more accessible, and it makes me wonder if he might have done the initial chart layout for this on a ukulele, because there's some great transitions that are just really non-difficult on a uke, as opposed to on a guitar. Of course, you know, having fewer strings always helps. Four strings is about as much as I'm good for at this point, I think. Well, now they're making movies in all black and white. With happy endings when nobody fights. So if you find yourself in that nostalgic rage, gonna jump right up and show your rage. I wish I had a pencil thin mustache, the Boston black air kind, a two tone Ricky Ricardo jacket, and an autograph picture of Andy. Guys, these penny. Well, I wish I had a pencil thin mustache that I could solve some mysteries too. Well, it's a bandstand Disneyland growing up fast, drinking on a fake ID. Well, Rama of the Jungle was everyone's marijuana, and only, only jazz musicians were smoking marijuana. Yeah, wish I had a pencil thin mustache. Could do some cruising too. Well, it's a flat top, dirty mop, copping a feel, grubbing on the living room floors. Oh, sore, and they send you off to college, try to gain a little knowledge. But all you wanna do is learn how to score. Yeah, well, now I'm getting old, don't wear underwear. I don't go to church and I don't cut my hair, but I can go to movies and see it all there just the way that it used to be. I said I wish I had, wish I had a pencil thin mustache, the Boston black kid kind, yeah, brew cream, a little dab 
will do ya. Oh, I can do, I can do some cruising to do. All right, a few boating accidents in there. There's more to the song, and I know that, but I saw myself beginning to lose control of it. And a lot of the problem that I have, you see, in in doing this kind of stuff is that I have, I do have a bit of a physical issue. I do have a bit of a physical uh, challenge, which I would like to. Uh, show to you now you see the problem is that i have 11 fingers and not a lot of people do and it's it's a little embarrassing i don't talk about it very much i have a tendency to move my hands around a lot so people don't notice it but if you see it for yourself you see it look i got one two now that's three right there now that's four five that's six that's seven that's eight that's nine that's ten that's eleven that's eleven fingers what i'll do it slower one, two, now that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fingers. No, wait, wait, okay. Okay, we'll do it the other way. Watch this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, plus five more is how many? Eleven. Being a magician is one of the few jobs where if you say that you are it, People almost immediately demand that you perform and demonstrate your skill right there, right then. Which is why I have this this trick up my lack of sleeves. Um, it is something you can do very quickly. You can do it easily. You can use it to blow people's minds, as a matter of fact. If you do it fast, people will really have no idea where you go. I say, look, it's like one, two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven fingers, okay? Are we happy? So I keep that one in my back pocket, so to speak. When I have people ask me, oh, you're a magician, do a trick. Of course, then uh, my wife gave me a much better response, which is, okay, give me a dollar. Because I am a professional magician. I am an amateur musician. Which is why I'm doing this pretty much for free. So there's that. Let's see here. What else we got going on? Yes, I think so. We're going to go to the next song here. Maybe. Well, there we go. There we are. Uh, this is one that I wrote. <clears throat> and I wrote it after I learned my first uh, eight bar blues. I think it's an eight bar blues. It might be a 12 bar blues. It might be 12. I am musically ignorant. One of you probably knows, and you can probably tell me. in a few gears I'm gonna get that second flying but it just might take a couple years I got me an army so bitch that shit mama but the rigging's kinda torn I got me an army so bitch that shit mama but the rigging's kinda torn I'm out of looking for parts for it but it been manufactured years before I was born Underfunded steampunk blues It's hard to take over the world, baby When you can barely afford your own shoes I am actually at your treasure So I got a global venture capitalist that I can use Bridge Pretty bridge strings I got them low budget underfunded steampunk blues boating accident it's hard to take over the world mama can't afford the union dues But I can't afford the license and fee to the external combustion orchestra. Wow. OK. 
Okay, that one that one may have been snatched for back from the jaws of defeat. Or as Kicklepenny liked to say, we left the show the way we found it. <laughs> Crumpled heap on the floor. It's on fire. Um, Y'all, I've been doing this. This is 11 shows where I just kind of like just knocking these things out and just kind of dinking around. And hopefully I'm entertaining. Hopefully you folks are having a good time doing this. Um, I know that people are walk, coming back to watch this because, you know, 4.30 to 5 o'clock is not the most opportune time for people who have lives. Um, but I know that we're getting some folks watching, and I really do appreciate it because if you didn't watch this, this would have even less meaning than it has now. Let me see if we can do this. Why not? This is a Stevie Ray Vaughan song that I love. And it is one that I bookmarked in Evernote, which is what I use for a lot of my ubiquitous capture stuff. Uh, highly recommend Evernote. Great fan. And um, it's actually not, although it's performed by Stevie Ray Vaughan, it's actually written by a friend of Stevie Ray's known as Doyle Bramhall. Uh, Doyle is no longer with us, but he played on family style he's from a very musical family in the dallas area and he grew up with the vaughn brothers and he wrote this song about hanging out with his friend and uh, some say it was stevie some say it was jimmy um i say regardless it's an incredibly tasty song and i'm going to try to do it justice we will see if it works or not Whew. okay adjust things just a tiny bit here yeah <clears throat> the other thing is I discovered with this is that um, I, I initially played it on uh, on the otter which is the four string polycarbonate waterproof and it sounds good there but I decided I want to see what it sounded like you stay right there on Purdy. It's kind of like bolt on talent, really. Kind of. And it got really crunchy and tasty. And I'm going to try and do this right. I mean, I, I find that to be an incredibly tasty song. 
and we have come to what would be con the conclusion of another uh, non-commute show for as long as I'm doing this. And I think the current theory is that we're going to do this Monday through Thursday as Friday appears to be the day when Tobias goes out into the world to try and get stuff done. So uh, y'all be safe. Y'all be happy. Y'all be good. Y'all take care of each other. Um, in the event that you have some disposable income, and not everybody does, I understand it entirely, a uh, bunch of things you can do to support adequacy in our lifetime over here. Um, do check out the podcast, which we're working on Pod C, and we're going to do that one probably end of this week, beginning of next week. Scheduling has been completely thrown sideways with this whole shelter-in-place COVID-19, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, YouTube.com slash MP Laguerre is where all of the Troubadour shows are being saved. They're also saved here on Facebook, but it's a bit of a challenge to find them. You got to go to my page down here. You got to go to videos. You got to go to videos by me, and then you can see them. Maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Adequate is for supporting adequacy in our lifetime. Uh, PayPal.me slash the adequate co dot co fee dot com slash the adequate that's what you're throwing a couple of bucks in the tip jar if you feel like it uh, a lot of the studio recorded crap is on soundcloud.com slash matthew dash laguerre including the epic 30 to 50 feral hogs i got no pants an uh overwhelming surplus of diggity and ham is on there and a bunch of other things which uh no one in their right mind would want to try to perform live of course, you can always find me at fb.com slash theadequate or facebook.com slash theadequate because that is my actual username. Um, once again, thank you all very much for hanging out with me here on this. I hope you had a good time. Uh, if you want to drop me a note or a line or a comment, feel free to do so. I, I do see the comments. I may not be able to, to answer them all in a timely manner. I want to thank Tina for kind of hanging out with me and giving me some uh, live feedback. Tina, I appreciate it. I see you. And I appreciate that you hung out and saw me. And I'm going to try and do this fade to black thing. We're going to see what happens with it. Because um, it's going to, that's a decent way to end the show, I hope. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs>